Hey everyone, Peter Sorensen coming at you with day 58 here for the 90 day e-com challenge. I'm actually here at my home theater here uh, where I live here in Scottsdale, Arizona, and it's actually the time of this recording, uh, Memorial Day weekend. So for those of you that are celebrating the weekend, I uh, hope you're having an awesome one. Today's going to be a short, quick, but powerful training on the really the three, what I call the three C's to your success. The three C's that are fundamental, they're the foundations um, to your success in your Shopify store business. And really, these are three keys, what I call principles, that are fundamental for whatever you want to have success in. And what is success? Success is really, and I'm gonna just kinda come hang out and chat with you here. Uh, imagine this was a fireside chat, except there's no fire. It's in a little a th cool theater here where I live. It's pretty cool. Um, but these are the three principles that I find myself that have made the, the biggest impact in my life, in my business, in reaching my goals, in keeping me accountable uh, to do something that I've never done before, right? To have something that I've never had before. So if you, if whatever your goals are, right? If your goals in the 90 day challenge are to do $10,000 in sales in 90 days, and you've never done that before, maybe you're brand new to Shopify, well, it is a big goal to stretch, right? And so in order to achieve that type of a big goal, a stretch, something you've never done before, there are three things that I call the three C's that are critical to getting you on the right path and keeping you there. So num the first thing I'm gonna talk about is just kind of jump right into it. The first C is clarity, right? Clarity, you've got to know what you want. Most people don't get what they want in life because they really don't know what they want. I'm gonna say that again. Most people don't get what they want in life because they don't know what they want. So the first C is clarity. Jot that down if you're taking notes. When you're watching this training live, or on, most of you guys probably on recording, because you gotta know that you've gotta know exactly what you want, okay? That's the first step. First step is to know what you want, clarity. So write down, take a few minutes, get clear. What is it that you want? You know, what is your goal for the 90 day e-com challenge? And not just the 90 days, but what is your goal beyond that, right? Uh, recently I had a 90 day goal in my health and fitness. It's been a little over three months where I really got committed. I got clear that of what I wanted with my body and what I didn't want, right? And so three months ago, I set a goal to, you know, drop 25 pounds of body fat uh, to really reset my body, get healthy as my first 90 day goal. And I, I'm really happy to say I recently achieved that. I dropped 25 pounds of body fat uh, in three months. And uh, and now I'm on to the next 90 day goal. Well, what, what's my next 90 day goal? Well, my next 90 day goal in this example of health and fitness, okay, is to you know add lean muscle mass while continuing to drop body fat to really get in the best shape of my life, get shredded, so to speak, right? So step one, get clear. What is it that you want? What is it that you really want? Not just what you think you want or that'd be nice to have, like what is a must, right? Is it a must for you to do $10,000 in sales in your Shopify store, is that a must? If it's not a must, it's not gonna happen, okay? And if it's not a must, that's okay. Maybe a must for you is 1,000 or 5,000 or whatever it is, but get clear on what that looks like. And maybe it's not just dollars, maybe it's leads in your business, maybe it's um, you know, a particular amount of product sales of a unit, maybe it's a unit sold of a particular product, right? Whatever it is, get clear, but obviously we want you guys to strive for $10,000 in sales because if so, you're gonna have a chance to win a trip to Bora Bora, 20 grand cash, and a 1968 Chevy Camaro, uh, convertible Camaro. Right, and uh, for those of you that you know, you know, are watching this, make sure you attend our conference August 25th to the 27th. We've got some really cool things coming out for that soon, so stay tuned. Okay, so again, number one, step step one, clarity. Know exactly what you want. Again, most people don't get what they want because they don't know what they want, and not only what they want, but what they're committed to. Okay, I'm gonna add that in as another little C is what is what are you committed to, and that really does bring me to. Uh, to the next step, right, which is number two, which is commitment. So once you know what you want, right, you've gotta commit. You've gotta commit 100%, what I call being all in. You've gotta go all in with that goal, all in with that commitment. When I committed to dropping 25 pounds in like three months, that was a big commitment. That's a big goal, right? It took big commitments. It took me being committed on a, on a daily, weekly basis to doing the actions that I know eventually would get me the results, right? So in the arena of in health and fitness, it's eating certain things, it's not eating certain things, it's maybe a low, lower calorie diet, eating less, eating higher lean proteins, drinking a lot of water, working out, uh, doing different things, right? To, that would lead to a result of fat loss. 
Well, in your business, in your Shopify store, what are the core income producing activities that you need to be committed to, right? So what are the core things that you need to be committed to on a daily, weekly basis that regardless is if it's uh, you've got things going on, right? We Life happens. You're gonna have life circumstances. You're gonna have things get in the way and you're going to have things try to get in the way. You're gonna be challenged by time, right? But here's the thing, whether someone's, you know, Busted, broke, or a billionaire, they both have 24 hours in the day, right? We all have 24 hours in the day. So how are we using our hours? What are we doing? How are we stacking time? How are we getting more done in less time? So you need to be looking at the core income producing activities in your business, finding new products, researching new hot products to test, placing new ads, tweaking ads, pausing ads, launching new ads, scaling up ads that are winners, right? Going back to product research, trying new print on demand campaigns, you know, getting designs, what are the things that you're going to be doing in your business? Ultimately, it comes to the three C's of internet marketing, which is creating traffic, capturing leads, and converting sales, right? Are you getting traffic to your store and your product? Are you, you know, even capturing leads, those that aren't buying, but you're capturing the, lit, the email lead, right? So you can remarket to them. Uh, and then obviously, are you converting sales? Those are what I call the three C's, kind of the, on the mechanics, right? I'm talking, you need to be the three C's, which are the mindset and the, the principles, right? This is the, the, the core, the 80%, because if you don't have this, it doesn't matter what mechanics you do. If you're not clear on what you want, if you're not committed to it, it doesn't matter. You know, you can take action, it's not gonna work out, right? How many of you guys have found yourself a time in your life where you've taken some action on something, you're stressing, you figured out, you're not figuring it out, you know, why it's not working for you, and then come to find out maybe later down the, on, uh, down the line when you got really committed, right? You got really clear what you want, really committed, really focused, and you took consistent action, you, you, uh, you know, you actually got results, right? So that actually brings me to my third step. So, okay, number one, clarity. You gotta be super crystal clear what you want, all right? Number two, be committed. You gotta be commit, have that level of commitment that's all in 100%, right? One of my mentors, again, a long time ago said, 99%, 99% commitment fail, 100% succeed, right? It's that slight edge, it's that 1% that makes a difference. Are you fully vested? Are you fully in? Like I've to told in other trainings in the, in the 90 day e-com challenge, are you treating this like you invested $10,000 to be in the 90 day challenge? Treat this like a $10,000 mastermind, right? It is worth that at least. Right, the value you're getting, the training you're getting, the training you're getting from the people you're getting it from, having the support system, having the community, this is worth 10 grand easy, okay? I've invested more than that in programs in the past uh, when I was getting started as an entrepreneur that were not as valuable as this. So you need to treat that, have that level of commitment, that level of focus, that level of uh, certainty. I'll add another C word, I love C words. Uh, you know, you've gotta be certain that it'll work for you. And the way you become certain that things will work for you is by being committed with a clear, committed intention, right? Having a clear intention, having that clarity of what you're intended on, what your focus is, what your goal is, right? Being committed, and when you're committed, you're gonna do the third step. The third C, which is consistency. This is a big one, and this is probably where most of you, including myself, uh, have struggled with, right? It is consistency, you know? I'll go back to my own personal experience with health and fitness, right? I, you know, in the chat, in the past, I'd go up and down, I'd gain weight, lose some weight. I was inconsistent, right? I'd go to the gym for a month or whatever, then I'd stop. Well, to get results in any area of your life, to get results in your business, you've got to have consistency, right? That old saying, the tortoise and the hare, right? That slow tortoise that was just consistent, that beat the hare. That is so true. Now, don't get me wrong, you can go fast too, but you gotta make sure you're gonna be consistent with whatever you're doing, whatever your pace is, right? Whatever you're doing with your income producing activities, be consistent with them. Even if it's a weekend, or even if you're, you're, you're super busy, find that hour a day to run your ads, or do your product research, to do the things that will get you results. Maybe you're not gonna get massive results with that hour a day, okay, versus someone that's putting in 12 hours a day. Again, don't compare yourself to other people. I've talked about that before as well. Don't compare your results or lack of results to anyone else, right? Compare your results to yourself. 
What are you doing today, tomorrow, right? What do you do on a daily basis? Are you better than you were last week? Have you taken a little bit more action? Have you learned? Are you plugging into the training? Are you taking action based on what you're learning? That is that third step, that third C, consistency. When you're consistent, you will get results. Results will show over time. Again, it's not if, it's just when and how much, right? If you're consistent with the core income producing activities that we're teaching you on creating traffic, generating leads, capturing sales, or you're following the training, you're testing new products, you're, you're trying out new products, you're designing new ads, you're tweaking your ads, right? you're doing the things that successful Shopify sellers are doing, you will eventually get results. Even if you're struggling, even if you're not making any money, you can go from not making any money and struggling and literally overnight, it seems like an overnight success and you start crushing it. That's what happens with a lot of people. But it takes being willing to be consistent. It takes being willing to even lose some money. It takes having the, the ability to see the long game, okay? See the long game that when you have that consistency and you trust in the process, right? I, I am trusting in the process. I'm following mentors, for instance, in my health and fitness. I'm committed to getting in the best shape of my life and keeping it that way. That's it, period, right? So I am committed to that. I trust in that and I'm taking consistent daily actions, right? Now, not every day, for example, I'm in the gym. I try to be in the gym every day or do some type of physical activity on a daily basis or at least five, six days a week, okay? Maybe some days I just need a day off, right? And that's okay, but rest is good. Um, but the thing is, it's consistency. Even when I'm challenged, even when I have a full schedule, even when I'm working a lot or maybe just some day, you know, it's a holiday weekend or, or having fun. Yesterday I was at the lake all day, but you know what, before I went to the lake all day, I went in and crushed in a quick 30 minute total body circuit workout because I'm committed to my health and fitness, right? Uh, even today, I'm training this video for you. We've got friends, got family, hanging out, whatnot, but I, I'm serving value to here in the 90 day challenge because I appreciate you. I love all you guys. I want you to succeed. And because I'm committed uh, to this group, I'm committed to the future of Techademics. I'm committed to us growing the largest community of e-commerce sellers in the world, the largest community of entrepreneurs online on the planet, the number one resource for internet marketing education, right? That's what we're committed to. And we're consistent with it, right? On a daily, weekly, monthly basis, consistent with that message, consistent with that vision. So you've got to have the same level of consistency with your vision, with your business. What is your personal vision? What is your business vision? And are you being consistent with that vision, okay? So again, and this is maybe a good kind of extra tip for you, is separate it out. So what is your personal uh, uh, clarity, kind of your personal vision, get clarity on your personal vision, right? Be committed to that and then be consistent with that. And then what is your business vision? Have clarity on that. Be commitment. Know what, what are your core commitments? So what are you committed to on a daily, weekly basis? What are those commitments that you have? Kind of that second step commitment is getting specific on what are the committed things that you're going to do on a daily, weekly basis. No matter if it's an hour a day, five hours a day, 10 hours a day, whatever it is, the core time that you have to produce in your business, what are you committed to doing? The income producing activities. And then number three is consistency. You just got to stay consistent with doing step number two, right? And then you, as a service because guess what happens? You're going to be committed. You're going to get some results. You're going to learn through doing. It's going to also probably help you become more clear on your goals. You're going to reframe, refocus. You're going to maybe make new uh, projections, new goals, etc. Based on those new goals, you'll have new commitments, right? Based on those new commitments, you'll have a new set of consistent actions you'll be taking, right? And that is the cycle of success. That is the fundamentals of success. Okay, the mechanics of the 20%, the mechanics you need to know, you need to develop the skills. The skills are Facebook advertising, the skills are even SEO, the skills are video marketing, the skills are, you know, email marketing and copywriting and, and conversions and funnels and all of these different things that we teach inside the 90 day ecom challenge, right? We have amazing trainers and mentors and all the people that are serving value to you guys, you know, starting from top down with Chris Record, the CEO and co-founder of Techademics and so many of our power, powerful sellers and teachers and John Alfredson and Robert Nava and da Damien, the Irish marketer and Lawrence Aponte and, and Stephanie, one of our uh, head of our instrumenter team and all of our instrumenters and all the people that are coming at you on a daily, weekly basis inside the 90 day 
30-day challenge, e-com challenge, giving you free value. Again, but treat this not like you got it for free. Treat this like a $10,000 mastermind, okay? And who knows, in the future, we might charge thousands of dollars for this information, okay? Right now, you have the opportunity, watching this, if you're a part of the core group, the first group of the 90-day e-com challenge, you're getting this massive, massive value. So take advantage of it, right? Get clear on what you want. Have a, a list of commitments that you're committed to on a daily, weekly basis. What are the things you're going to do that you're committed to that are going to eventually lead to results? That you trust in that process, even if you're having temporary setbacks, even if you're having temporary challenges, you commit to the process. You see the long game, right? You see and you think the long game, right? You're committed to that long-term vision. And number three, again, take consistent actions. Even if you're challenged with time, even if you, when life gets in the way, what is something that you can do on a daily basis, a weekly basis? What are the things you're doing when you only have an hour a day to build your business? You know, a few years ago when Chris Rucker and I were working in affiliate marketing business together, he only had an hour a day. He's working 60, 80 hours a week at his corporate job, raising kids. His, his son got recently diagnosed with autism autism, um, he was struggling with time, right? Real, you know, uh, realistically, um, you know, but he's focused on the core income producing activities. He found what is the thing that he could be the best at that could produce traffic leads and sales. He did that and that led to a multiple six figure business working an hour, maybe two hours a day. So you can do the same thing with your Shopify store. Now, if you have more time, even better, but you know, sometimes it's good to have a, a small amount of time because it forces you. Right? When you have a small amount of time, it forces you to be the most efficient and effective you can be because you don't have a lot of time to mess around. Right? If you only have an hour a day to build your business, then you need to focus on the core income producing activities and just do that. Right? If you have some extra time, you know, net what I call no extra time, net time, maybe you're listening to a positive audio, you're reading a book, you're exercising, combining those activities together, even, you know, do that. But your core business time, that's when you're focused on your core income producing activities, your, your, your place in ads, your launching marketing campaigns, you're testing new products, you're researching new products, you're launching those new products, right? Those are the things that are gonna eventually lead to traffic, leads and sales in your business, right? And again, with a long-term vision, right? So it's three, three C's, the three fundamentals, I'm gonna kind of wrap up. Uh, you know, it's a holiday weekend. I want to make sure you guys are watching. Those of you that are watching live or on recordings of the weekend, um, you know, obviously enjoy your Memorial Day, okay? And I will do the same. I'm going to get back to my workout here after this video, uh, get my workout in for the day, and then kind of hang out and relax too. So, again, be clear in what you want, right? Be committed to what you, you want, right? By having a focused list of goals, the, the income producing activities, the steps, if you will, that you're going to take. And then the third thing is that consistency. Consistency is powerful. Consistency gets results, right? Over the last 90 days, I dropped 25 pounds of fat. It wasn't that I did the most crazy things. Now, mind you, it was more than the average person, right? If you wanna get above average results, you gotta be willing to do things that people are not willing to do. But guess what? I wasn't perfect. Right, and when it comes to health, my fitness, I had days where I didn't go to the gym. I had days where I pigged out. Even I had days where I ate pizza and cheeseburgers and milkshakes and stuff like that. But guess what? Over the stretch of time, on the consistent weekly base, on the weekly basis, I was consistent with the things that would have me lose fat. Right? I was consistent with the things that would get me the result I wanted. So again, you don't have to be perf perfect, but you've got to be consistent. You gotta be consistent on a core set of disciplines and actions that will get you results with a clear focus and vision for the long haul, right? Having that clarity. So uh, guys, that being said, I hope you enjoyed this training. Today, Peter Sorensen coming at you from beautiful Scottsdale here at my community home theater, uh, hanging out, wanted to deliver you this message of clarity, of commitment, of consistency and really just vision and inspiration for you that you can do this. You can hit your goals no matter what they are. You can hit $10,000 in sales in 90 days. You can hit $10,000 in sales in 30 days. You could struggle for the first two months. You know, we're coming up on the end of the first two months, the build and grow phase, and we're about to grow, uh, go into the scale phase of the business. Maybe you're still getting off the ground. That's okay. I want you to know that in a moment, right, it can seem like a moment, you can have that shift. You can have the internal breakthrough. You can have the external breakthrough, taking massive imperfect action, start getting results, and you can go from zero to hero like that, right? And people are like, wow, this person came out of nowhere. That's what can happen, it can happen for you. And if you believe that, then you can achieve that. But you gotta believe it first.
right? You've got to believe in yourself. You've got to believe in the, the mentors that you have in front of you. Trust in the process. Go through the training. Take ma massive action. Have a clarity a outcome of what you really want. Be committed to it and then take consistent actions to help you get there, all right? So that being said, for everyone in the U.S. and really around the world, just enjoy your weekend. Those in the U.S., enjoy your Memorial Day weekend. And uh, Peter Sorensen signing out. Take care.